And plenty of drinks going down. We do have the beer tent just down on the front straight as we get ourselves ready for a start in this next five kilometre race. It is 5K Frenzy and we are running five kilometres. Seed times here, I would think somewhere around 18 to 21 minutes maybe, somewhere in there. But hopefully we can get a field that's pretty close. A big sponsor of this race is Mulqueen Finance. So Mulqueen Finance is sponsoring these races along with the City of Greater Bendigo. But go and see Mulqueen Finance for all your financial needs. So it looks like final instructions just being given. Peter makes his way back over to the starters gun and will run through this field just as they head off. So away we go in this next heat of the 5K Frenzy. And again, a, a huge start and the field spread out. So there's no mucking around here. They've strung out very, very quickly. And I would absolutely know that running style anywhere. That will be young Abby Reed at the front of this race. Hip number 17, I'd put money on it. Don't make a liar out of me, and it certainly is. So soccer must have been cancelled tonight. And that is Abby Reid going there. Claire Johnson, we'll go through all the hips now. But Claire Johnson with hip one, over from the Ballarat Harriers. Taryn Folletti, fantastic runner for South Bendigo, has hip two. Alice Wilkinson had a great season with the bats from the Bendigo Harriers in three. Matthew Grange, unattached in hip four. Tom Gamble in hip five. David Cripps from Mendigo University in hip six. He's been doing a lot of running on Tuesday nights here. He's a very, very good competitor for our Tuesday night races. Trevor Kelly, another one who likes the Tuesdays from Eagle Hawk in hip seven. I'll just pick up the first lap. Gone through 400 in about 83. That's still a Fairly quick time, three. Geez, that could, no, that couldn't be right. That's about oh, 16 minute pace, 17 minute pace. But Claire Johnson obviously knows what she's doing. She's come on a mission. We'll get back to her hip number. Stephen Field unattached in hip eight. Aaron Norton in hip nine, just broke 20 minutes. I'll come back to Aaron actually, because we'll talk about that. Mitz Fitzgerald unattached in 10. David Heislers. Another Bendigo University and Bats runner in 12. Vanessa Bull from Bendigo University in 13. A Yarra Rangers athlete. Hopefully not hard to spot Bonnie Morris. Hopefully wearing the bright orange of Yarra Rangers. Oh no, Yarra Rangers got the white. There she is. Just going through the finish line now in the white. That's Lavin country, I think, isn't it, Lockie? Yarra Rangers. Georgia. Matt, yes, the Lavin. Lavin's run for Yarra Rangers. Chris Timewell from South Bendigo in 15. Adam Parker. Adam Parker back on the track. Great to see him there from Bendigo Athletics Club. And as I mentioned before, our early leader of the race, Abby Reid in 17. But Claire Johnson from the Ballarat Harriers, she is out to a 30 metre lead. And I think she's saying very, very clearly to the organisers, why wasn't I in the next heat? That's what she's saying at the moment. Looks like Folletti and Wilkinson there in second and third. I can't quite pick our next runner. Get him on the way through. Reed is now in fifth. Little battle there, I think, with Cripps. Just coming into the front straight. But Johnson now coming up, and this is the 1K split. So we are, well, this is a fantastic pace. Under 
Unbelievable there. So the seed time for Claire Johnson is 18.19 and she is on 17 and a half pace at the moment. So absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank you, Lockie. Been trying to make up seed times while we've been going. So Aaron Norton through the finish line. If I can just uh, touch on Aaron briefly. So Aaron, 43 years old. He won't be, uh, I don't think he'll be too upset with me giving away his age. But an absolute stalwart of South Bendigo. Runs both winter and summer. Went down to Vic Country Championships in Geelong a couple of weeks ago and at 43 broke 20 minutes for the 5K for the first time. So forget this old idea that 30 or 35 is, you know, you're over the hill and you're done. Aaron Norton has come out and still running PBs well into his 40s. So absolutely fantastic. And we hope we can get him under 20 minutes again tonight in the 5K frenzy. But back to the front and Johnson has again cleared out. She's not slowing down. That seed time of 18.19 at the moment is looking like it is going to go. Checks the watch. Don't worry, you are on time. Looking a million bucks, actually. Running very, very nicely. So we've got a change here. Oh, bit of a bit of a conversation. Bit of banter going there from Tom Gamble. Folletti and Wilkinson, Bats teammates. There's Adam Parker in the region top. Great to have you back on track, Adam. Abby Reid, David Cripps. Hip fours, Matty Grange. Oh, and I've just missed after Matt. There's Trevor Kelly. That might be Vanessa Bull there in the green. Our Yarra Rangers athlete in Bonnie Morris. Norton tracking her. Heisler's through, time will through. So Claire Johnson already around the jab run up. No one else even past the 200 yet. Although Tom Gamble just goes through there now. So Johnson again into the front straight. And has not eased up. Just looking very comfortable. A few, bit of a round of applause there. Fantastic. These athletes are out here under very, very nice conditions. But gee whiz, they could do with your support. Bit from the infield there. And we'll pick up Johnson's 2K split as she gets back around to the 200. Gamble coming up. He is in stroll mode. Absolute stroll mode, Tom Gamble. Looking like he's out on a Sunday jog. He might be feeling painful, but he's not showing anything at this stage. Folletti and Wilkinson will be neck and neck, just sitting on one another. I wonder if Alice has got a plan just to sit and kick there. Crips through. Parker, Reed. There goes Grange, and I think that might be Stephen Field there, just at the back of that little pack. Trevor Kelly through. Vanessa Bull. There's Bonnie Morris. Norton has not given up. And Fitzgerald through as well. So Claire Johnson has gone through in 7.02. So that 3.30k pace, she is absolutely on it. Only dropped a couple of seconds. Come on, Claire. You are on pace for a huge PB. You're almost a minute under your seed time at the moment. And there comes the applause for her. She's running an absolute great race here. Clearly come here with a goal. Almost halfway. Well, we might have some special comments as Gamble goes through. What's your name? Hamish, come over here. We have a special comments. We have young Hamish Wilkinson here. Hamish, who's running out there? Alice Wilkinson. And who's that? My mum. And here she comes through the finish line. Give her a bit of a cheer. I know. I know. Oh, she's not going to. I'll give you a cheer, Alice. Come on, Alice. 
Great racing there. Hamish has gone all shy, but he's decided to come out to the track. Ho, ho, ho. Hamish has decided to come out to the track to get a really close view. The numbers out on the track are starting to build, but I tell you what, if you're on the other side of the fence, you need to get over this side for a closer view. Our resident statistician, Bill True, has just handed me a little note. So Claire Johnson with a seed time of 18.19, but on actual pace to run a bit, we think somewhere between 17.30 and 18 minutes. The 40 plus track record, and I wonder if, Claire, here Claire, as you go through, the track record for 40 plus Claire is 18.12. So the Bendigo track record for 40 plus women could fall in the next 10 minutes. No pressure though, but we think you can do it. In fact, we know you can do it because you have not slowed at all. And this crowd is going to get you home. So she makes her way around the back of the discus cage. We just pick up Heisler's there and time will. But Johnson is closing. It's got that stage now that she's going to have other athletes that she can just pick off. So zoom in on their back and just tick them off one at a time. She can play Chasey here for almost the entire lap. Wilkinson and Folletti still in third and fourth. Cripps there, just falling back a little bit. But I'll tell you what, we've got a big move here. Massive move here from Stephen Field. He's picked up about 30 metres on that lap, I reckon. Trevor Kelly, Abby Reed there. Parker just feeling it. This is what happens when you don't train much, Adam. Vanessa Bull, Bonnie Morris, Aaron Norton through the finish line. Heisler's about to pop through. So this will be the 3K split for Claire Johnson. She's under 11 minutes. This is a fantastic run, 10.44. Can she keep it going for this last 2K? We certainly hope so, and she's looking very good. So Heisler's in her sights now. She's gone past Timewell. Heisler's in the sights. 17.55. So she's under 18 minute pace. Tom Gamble through. Gamble with a seed time of about 19 and a half. So he's on pace, I think, to go pretty close to that. Folletti's just moved away from Wilkinson a little bit here. Maybe that rev up from Hamish wasn't the best thing she needed. Cripps looking comfortable and closing. Field has really pushed in now. Stephen Field has gone sub 20. Let's see if he can do it again. Come on, Abby Reid. Abby Reid with a 19.50, so she's gone under the 20 minutes. Can she do it again tonight? She's given soccer the flick tonight, and we've got her in the field for the 5K frenzy. Here comes Norton. Norton has taken off now, so this is a big move. He's gone around Morris and Bull, and he has decided 2K to go. And I'm going to catch it. He's right on 20-minute pace. Come on, Nordo. We need a couple of big, big laps here. Big lap in the middle. Don't fall asleep. Johnson through again. She's taken Heislers. She's got Fitzgerald in her sights. And she is not slowing down. Come on, Claire. There is a Bendigo track record in the taking. Ballarat are always telling us how much better they are than Bendigo. Now's your opportunity to show us. Tom Gamble with a stitch, no doubt. So we have competitors all over the track at the moment. Here comes Folletti. She's broken away from Wilkinson. So Taryn Folletti in third position now, all to her own. But Wilkinson has moved away from Cripps. So there's been a big gap here. So Folletti has gapped Wilkinson, but Wilkinson has gapped Cripps. So the pace has certainly lifted. 
Reed has lifted, trying to get on the back of field. Grange now. Grange trying to hang on to Reed. Parker trying to hang on to Grange. Norton trying to hang on to Parker. Norton trying to pass Parker. Here comes Fitzgerald. He glances at the watch. Johnson now rounding them all. There goes Morris. There goes Bull. Come on. So Johnson, I think when Johnson gets to the 200 here, it'll be 1K to go. I'm pretty sure my math is correct. She powers past that group of Fitzgerald, Morris and Bull. There goes Gamble, there goes Time War. Down past the pole vault. She checks the watch again. You are on track, Claire. Keep going. Hydration station at the back. There goes a cup. Rossi Evans down the back straight. So if you're a bit thirsty, grab yourselves a cup. Splash it all over your face. So Johnson threw in 14 and a half. She may lap the field. So 14 and a half, that tells me that she's pretty much right on 18 minute pace. If she can hold on to a 3.30. Heisler's through. Gamble still trying to get rid of that stitch. So the camera, we're focused on Johnson now. She's passing Norton. There goes Grange. But here comes Johnson. All eyes on the front of the field, Claire Johnson. She's looking up ahead and they are laid out for her just to chase. Norton hanging on. Parker through. Fitzgerald through. Bull through. Morris through. I think we might be on track for some very, very large PBs. I hope so. That's what my numbers tell us. Gamble just can't get rid of this stitch. That right arm has been stuck on his back. Now it's the left arm. He can't decide, but he is in a world of pain. Not far to go, Tom. You can do this. Chris Time will starting to grimace. So we come back to the front straight. It's Wilkinson dropping further off Folletti, but her pace is still not too bad. Here goes Trevor Kelly. David Cripps now. So Johnson mustn't be far away. 16 and a half minutes on the clock. Here comes Field and there is Claire Johnson. One lap to go. 16.40 on the clock. A seed time of 18.19, a track record of 18.12. Come on, Claire, you've got this. She's going to try to hook onto Field here. Stephen Field, 10 metres away. Chase him down. Vanessa Bull with a leap in the step. Bonnie Morris, but Morris closes on Field. Uh, sorry, Johnson closes on field. I've got all too excited. Tom Gamble with one lap to go. 17.20. Oh, he's going to... This is going to be a huge PB for Tom Gamble. 200 metres to go for Johnson. 17.30 on the clock. Can she do it? 42 seconds to get herself in the Bendigo book. Come on, Claire, get around. She must be in a world of pain. Let's go, let's get her home. 140 metres to go. 17.50 on the clock. Come on, Claire. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here she comes. She enters the front straight. Field has given her something to chase. 18 minutes gone on the clock. Can she get there? Oh my goodness, this is going to be close. 06, 07, 08. There it is, people. You have witnessed history. A new 40-plus Bendigo track record has been set at the 5K Frenzy by Claire Johnson, and she's felt every single step of it. Abby Reid through the bell with one lap to go. 
Grange with one lap to go. A fantastic effort there from Claire Johnson. What a fantastic run. Fitzgerald through, Norton through. Come on, Norto. An 80 second lap. Come on, an 80 second lap. Can we see any more? PBs. That's definitely a PB for Gamble. Just checking my numbers. A 19.26 seed time and he's gone sub 19. That is an absolutely tr a huge PB from Gamble. Folletti through, 19.13 on the clock. Heisler's with one to go. So Wilkinson will come down, take out our third place female. Trevor Kelly with a seed time. Oh, I think he's under his seed time. The arms go to the sky. Trevor Kelly is extremely impressed with that race. That will be a big season's best. Oh, Reed and Field, take your pick. Take your pick on the line there. But I'd imagine PB's there for both of them, looking up Fields. Oh, that's going to be very close, very close. So 19.43, I think. Grange is through just outside. Here's 20 minutes passes. Fitzgerald has just missed his only 10 seconds. Norton just outside. And welcome back to distance running, Adam Parker. Don't worry, it can only get better from here. Vanessa Bull just ahead of Bonnie Morris. Oh, I tell you what, they've gone very close. Just looking at their seed times, just outside their seed times. But fantastic races there from those two. It is still very, very warm here at the 5K Frenzy. Hardly a breath of wind. It is absolutely a sweat fest out there. Heisler's coming down. He may get sub-21 here. We hope so. Come on, Dave. There we go, 20.56. Well done to Dave Heisler's a great race. Chris Time will hear it. I knew he'd be out there somewhere. So he's just going to miss his PB as well, but he's about 20, 30 seconds outside, and that's not a bad race in these sort of conditions. And the face says it all. Great race there, Chris. So just before we switch off from this race, I do repeat, and it is, it will need to be ratified, but our race winner, Claire Johnson, we believe, we believe has just set a new 40 plus female track record for Bendigo. So Claire Johnson from the Ballarat Harriers, we do believe has just broken the 40 plus track record here at Bendigo. So an absolutely sensational effort from her. And we hope it's not, o the, not the only record we see broken here at the 5K Frenzy.